Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van On Company. It's Wednesday, February 6th. I'm going to go over the markets for you for the day. Very quiet trade once again. Uh, corn market, actually a penny and three quarters cent trading range for the day. So that's how quiet it's been. You're just struggling to get any movement, waiting this out until we get some more news specifically from Friday's big crop report. We can't stress how big of a deal this is to the market. There's going to be a lot of information thrown our way. We also are waiting to see what export sales are tomorrow as really this is a, a good chance to see if China bought in this gap. We kind of knew about their sales that we saw from this last, last go around, but this will be an indicator whether or not they came in and bought any more. They did have private sales once again this morning in soybeans, so they are up to their 5 million metric ton purchases that they talked about. So that is a big deal as well, but the market just doesn't really want to trade off of it and saying, you know, okay, they've bought quite a bit, um, but what does this do to our carryout levels? We're still at very large amounts, and so that's uh, a concern to this market and really waiting out to see what Friday's report says. Uh, corn market was down slightly on the day, soybean market up just over a penny on the day, wheat market mixed across the board, and really uh, the rest of the markets followed trying to be very quiet as well with live cattle, feeder cattle, and lean hogs slightly lower, about 50 cents to 65 cents lower on the day, and then uh, outside markets were quiet as well with crude oil and the US dollar both positive. And really it's been a while and not very often that we see the Dow market really hover around steady on the day, but that is what you saw. So it looks like we'll be waiting this out at least until tomorrow to see export sales before we get any kind of fireworks into this market and moving forward. I do have to close with the disclaimer, trading futures and, op futures and options involves risk loss and is not suitable for all producers.